Earlier this year, Portland Public Schools passed an ambitious new policy focused on climate change. Now, less than nine months after it was passed, some environmental groups are saying the district has already run afoul of its own climate goals. But the district says not so fast, everybody. Environmental reporter Kale Williams has the story. When Portland Public Schools passed its climate crisis response policy in March, it was hailed as significant. It calls for the district to cut emissions in half by 2030. Part of that includes banning fossil fuel equipment and new construction. So it came as a shock to Mike Rosen, a former PPS board member and environmental advocate, when he heard Benson High School, which is currently being remodeled, would be using natural gas for its heating system. And it was just passed in March of 22. And within months, they're in violation of the policy. Rosen was one of a dozen people in environmental advocacy groups that signed a letter last month calling on the district to stop work at Benson so they could look at installing an all-electric heating system. Dan Young, chief operating officer for Portland Public Schools, says the project was already too far along. Benson and Lincoln were two projects that when this was adopted, they were already designed, they already had building permits, they were already in construction. Therefore, that standard did not apply to those projects. To change course now would add another six to $8 million, and Young said would push back completion of the school, leaving Benson students working at other campuses for as much as two more years. That's the estimate if we were to do it now and incur all the costs of effectively stopping construction now. With construction costs skyrocketing the last few years, Young claimed an all-electric system didn't fit into the budget. Rosen realizes it's unlikely the district will change course now, but he's concerned that future budget problems will put more climate-friendly projects on the chopping block. PPS plans to retrofit several other large schools in the coming years, at the same time working toward cutting all emissions by 2040. Reaching net zero for the whole district by 2040 is a very heavy lift. They're going to hit other bumps in the road in the future. The question is how they're going to handle it. But Young said plans for other large-scale remodels, like at Jefferson High School, already have all-electric systems built into the design. We're creating a standard that applies to new construction. New construction going forward will meet that standard. Kale Williams, KGW News.